Well, it doesn't seem likely I'll be riding anywhere today. I suppose I'd better make a video. It's not often we get uh, January the 1st where it's possible to ride. Now, this is the first time for a long time. In fact, I can't remember the last time I was able to ride in January. This January the 1st ride wasn't very long, only about 15 miles total. But it was just long enough to be able to say to myself that I'd started the riding year. The winter of 2023 turned out to be an odd one. We didn't really get any proper winter conditions until March. Even in February, there are usually a few days when one can get out and about in eastern Ontario. This again was just a short ride to get the oil warm on the Eldorado and to remind me that I still know how to ride a bike after a couple of weeks of inactivity. snow, cold and icy roads, but in April I decided to take a stab at the newly published pickaxe loop. So of course I took my old Panther, a classic British adventure bike. Adventure takes many forms, and unexpected oil evacuations and blocked carburetor jets are just some of the excitement one encounters along the way. By May, the snow was mostly gone, so I prepared myself for longer trips by exploring local back roads. The first lengthy trip of the year was a 5,000 mile loop up to James Bay, then across Quebec and Labrador to Newfoundland and home. I posted a series of videos, links below in the description. So you may be wondering why I chose to uh, ride up the Long Point. Well, that's a good question. I'm not sure I really know. Uh, it's a destination, it's the end of the road, it's as far as you can go by road in this part of Quebec unless you go inland on the uh, Trans Tiger, which I think may end up a little further north, but I could be wrong there. The route across Quebec included the North Road, a 250 mile long gravel highway. It's long and dusty, but not too bad if you enjoy the bike squirming around beneath you. After that, it was back down to the St. Lawrence River coast, then up through beautiful Quebec to Labrador City. There are still some long gravel stretches on Highway 389, heading north from Bay Como. But it's a well-maintained road, and on this occasion, was in perfect condition. There are some great views, and wonderful remote country. Even though it was the beginning of June as I headed east on the Trans-Labrador Highway, it was still cold with daytime temperatures rarely getting above 5 degrees Celsius. There was still a little ice rimming the edges of the lakes, and I did encounter some short snow squalls. Still, this is Labrador, and at least there weren't any insects yet. Please check out my other videos for much more detail. After riding my clunky old goosey, uh almost 5,000 miles over 12 days. 
It's a nice change to get out on a modern bike. I'd ridden a Honda Pacific Coast once a few years back and not been impressed. Then this taddy old relic came into my life and was too quirky to ignore. A bit of sanding, some matte black rattle can paint, and it was time for some adventures. After a 300 mile ride up to Tomogamy in Northern Ontario, I headed for Highway 566. Highway? Well, it has a number, but numbers can be deceptive. More local day trips followed. This one back on the aforementioned pickaxe loop. Then it was time for something a little longer. This time, I dragged the mighty Suzuki cavalcade out of the garage and hit the highway, heading for Nova Scotia. This was a purely sightseeing trip. Nothing too adventurous, just a big lazy bike on nicely paved roads. Here are a few pictures from along the way. The roads were enjoyable with plenty of nice scenery and buildings, and the bike behaved itself perfectly. October and November have gone by in a blur of local rides and cool but pleasant weather. Perhaps December will give me a chance to get rolling again, but I'm not holding my breath, even though the bikes are always ready. Please subscribe and watch the videos listed in the description below. And if you haven't already, check out my books on Amazon and Audible. They're cheap and entertaining motorcycle stories for these long, cold winter nights. Just search for Nick Adams Motorcycle. Thanks for watching.